Well, then let's just do Chipotle. Wait, best friend. What? You hear that? What am I listening to? <laughs> just listen. <laughs> Girl. Best friend, I don't hear nothing. Exactly. That's some bitches keeping my name out their mouth. Uh Girl! Lucky, have you seen my alternator? What's that for? Protection. Protection for who? Me and Cornell. I got to walk this man home. No, son. I would have never moved to this neighborhood had I knew you needed a damn chair to walk down the street. That's what's wrong with y'all kids nowadays. Scared to get your ass beat. You're just a bunch of bitches. Look at you standing there. A whole bitch. When I was growing up, this is all the protection that you needed. Now you think you're a man with that chair in your hand, don't you? I'm a man without it. Then put that chair down and put your hands up. Now you're closer to being a man. Look at me. You win some and you lose some, but you live to fight another day. And if you lose, when you get home, you have got to fight me. You know, I think it moves. Tighten up, boy. You shaking like a stripper. Put that chair up. Shit. And I went right to the police department. <laughs> you traverse charges? And press. <laughs> That's your problem. Ain't nobody playing but you. You walk up and down the street all day playing. I'd like to think of your character. <laughs> yes, ma'am, I'm still here. Um, okay, ma'am, there's no reason to curse. Um, how would you like to rate your experience with us today? Terrible, you two are so <laughs> malarkey. Ma'am, we would need a number one through ten. I won! <laughs> Hello? Okay, I'm transferring you to the supervisor right now. Yeah, this is the goddamn supervisor. Oh, you two, so surprising will be hearing from my lawyer. <laughs> Oh, I'm shaking in my big girl panties. Girl. Call her back. <laughs> right. <clears throat> yeah. Comfortable? Yeah. All right. Just, uh, this is routine. Let me know if you feel any discomfort, okay? Okay. okay. Hmm. <clears throat> what? Hmm. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. Let me just, uh, let me get another doctor's hands in. Uh, doctor! Yes, doctor. Yeah, come on, dig in on this and let me know if you feel something weird. I don't know what that is. Yeah, me neither. I don't know. Let me know. Oh, hey, my man. Come on over here. Who is that? Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Just dig in on this and let me know what you feel. I'm not putting my finger in there. Come on, you're an extra pair of hands, please. Come on. Who's kind of loose? Yeah, what is oh, I think I got some. Come on, open wide. Will it? Will it? Right uh, oh, so watch. How did my watch get in there? That is really weird. Thank you guys for your help. All right, buddy. Well, <clears throat> I guess that's what was in there. You're good to go. And uh, see you in about six months. I got shit. Girl, off a couple sips. Girl, yes, come on, let's go, come on. <laughs> best friend, life hack. Oh, best friend, I won't be at school tomorrow. <laughs> If you must know, he works at a law firm. Okay, well, since you know everything. What's his favorite color? Lucky, get the hell away from the door. Shit. I'm not calling him dad. Nobody's asking you to. Go in the house, Lucky. Well, when can I meet him? Not for a while. I don't want to bring nobody around you until I, I know. Know what? That there's potential. Oh, like this plant? Don't do Pauletta like that. She just needs some TLC. Ma, oh, just cancel. Go in the house. And I'm gonna call grandma. Call her. I'm grown. What's she gonna do? <clears throat> hey, mama. Hey. How was your sermon? It was pretty good. Uh, lucky stay for the Easter egg hunt. M mama, you should come next year. Yeah. Anyway, you know what crossed my mind this morning. Whatever happened to that girl you used to work with, uh, Sharon, Sh Cheryl, Sh 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 Cherry, Sharon? Mama, you mean Cherise. Cherise. Cherise Watson. Yep, that's her name. Mm-hmm. Whatever happened to her? 
Well, you know she got fired for stealing. Well, I know that, but I'm saying that the, the law ain't never get her to get involved. Yeah, but she is wanted. She stole three hundred thousand dollars. Three hundred thousand dollars. She didn't give you the blueprint, Mama. Why would I do that? So I can go to jail. So I could be wanted. You ain't no real lucky. I already got the blueprint. Figured out just how she did it. Sure would've. Uh huh. So you can go to jail or be wanted. You want me to bring Lucky up there and see you behind bars? Anyways, well, <laughs> so she just she just up and vanished. That's what they think. They think she went off grid, but she still lives in her house with two of her kids and three of her grandbabies. Yeah, she's still there, but nobody don't know that. But I that house over there. So it, she lived over there on hundred thirty seven. That big pink house, ain't it? Yeah, that's the one. She's still there. It's still there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why you ask though? That's the that's the house with the the light brown fence. Mama, I don't know what that lady's fence is like. And there's a there's an alley that runs behind that house. You know that too. I don't know what's behind that lady's house, Mama. Oh, well, I know it. I know there's an alley back there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, 137 big pink house, light brown fence. That's the one. She's still there. Ma'am, did you get all of that? Ma'am, Mama, who are you talking to? <clears throat> oh, I should have got her on mute. What? Ma'am, did you get all of that? Yes, we did. We got it all recorded on here. Thank you. And and, and y'all said she was wanted and, and it was worth how much? She's listed right now for five thousand dollars. All right. Well, you got my information and, and you got your information. <laughs> well, you know where to get. You're going to find me. Yes, ma'am. Miss Lucky, thank you so much. All right. <laughs> she sounds stressed, don't she? Mama, you set me up. Oh, you God, I set you up. You just told them. What I needed to know, it's not like you said, oh, mama, don't say nothing. I feel like I can't you breathe. Just told him. Mama, she still lives in that house with two of her kids and three of her grandbabies. And you did this. Listen, do I look like the type of bitch that give a shit? I don't care if she had three dogs, two cats, and a hamster named Bobo. I don't care. Mama. If you break the law, you get the claw. No, you look at that child. Mama, you. This it don't matter. If you break the law, you're going to hell. You're going to the house. Messing with me? <laughs> $5,000. Okay, well, since I'm the one that told you, I get the $5,000. You can get $5. I don't know about $5,000. No. You can't get that. That's my money. Mama, that was my friend. And it is Easter. Because of you, she's going to go to jail. Baby, listen. Easter, Christmas, Kwanzaa, St. Patrick's Day. Hell, it could be... President's Day. You break the law, you going down. Where is your heart, mama? How could you do this to me? Me, mama. Oh, girl, shut up. You bitch. You know what? You know how to hang the phone up. Bye, mama. <laughs> Ma, I'm on my way to LAX to pick up my friend's aunt. Uh, she needed a place to stay, so I offered our, our house for a week. Oh, and you got to send me a voice message because I'm driving. My thing is, what bills do you pay to be offering somebody a place to stay? Absolutely not. I don't know these people. She can go stay with her niece or, 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 or I don't know, but she ain't coming here. Ma'am, I don't be like that. It's the season of giving. I, she just need a place to stay for a week. I figure we can be a helping hand, catch a blessing or something. I know you don't know her, but th this her. This, this is a picture of her. Seasons of giving my ass. This bitch bite. I don't even know her. I don't care who her niece is. I, this is not my problem. I'll skip out on this blessing. If you bring her to my house, Lucky, both of y'all would be homeless. I'm telling you right now, get away from that damn airport. Man, Ma, she in the car with me. Oh, my God. Listen, when you get off work, I'll just let you meet her. See what you think. What you shut the hell up? Damn. I don't care where she at. It I know one thing. You better drop her off at a hotel, a motel, or a Holiday Inn. Now, I am at work. If I come home and she's in my house, I am kicking ass and taking names. No oh, shit. Leave me alone. And bring me back a fifth of liquor. Oh, God. I went and parked the car. I walked up to the front of the grocery store looking through the window. Waiting for Earl to come down that line. She was there, steady, smiling. Winking. Mm -mm. I said, that didn't bother me. What bothered me was, when she gave him his change back, she put her hand underneath his hand. And then dropped his change in his hand. See, you, you ain't got to touch my man. <laughs> mm -mm. So, so, what, what happened next? Well, I walked in and I wrapped that hussy up. <laughs> uh 
I grabbed the by hand, I had it on the, on the, the belt that be moving. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Sure did. And then, then, then you just let her go? Baby. She started to fix her mouth and say, bitch, let me go. Uh-oh. Next thing you know, I, we was over in the deli. I drug her all through the grocery store. <laughs> but she, she lucky. She lucky I ain't get, I ain't get back to, to the meat section. I'd had her on the chopping block. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah sure would have. Man, you ain't supposed to be fighting over no man. They banned me. Yeah, they banned me. And, and Earl couldn't do nothing with me back in the day. He was out there in the car. What could he have done? I wish he would have tried to tell me to stop. Nanny, you know you're not supposed oh, to fight over. Oh, I know. I wasn't fighting over Earl. They got me shit him fight over, over Earl. Oh, God. I was fighting over the principal. If I let that hussy touch my man, imagine how many other ones with a line doesn't touch them. Mm-mm. Yeah, I wasn't right. there for that. Let me ask you this. You ever cheated on Grandpa? What did you say? I said, you ever cheated on Grandpa? You know, I thought that's what you said. <laughs> Look at the time. Well, there's going to be a show coming on. You know, baby, we'll go down memory lane here somewhere. Nah, it's I a love question. You. Nanny. And I would also add, how do y'all feel about three-day weekends? Because it's something about working five days a week and then being off only for 48 hours. It don't sit right with my soul. Like, this me. And this is my soul. Mm. It's not sitting right. Best friend, look, did you see my soul? Like, this me. You know what? And this is my soul. And I might add, too, I can be here on time or I can be here every day. But I can't do both. I I, I can't do both. Okay? So, y'all got to okay. pick one. Okay. Okay. Th thanks for coming in. We'll be in touch. Wait. Best friend, you think I got the job? K.O., don't do this to me. You really think that I would get the job? Oh, my God. I have a good day. Wait, best friend! Whew. Thank you again for going to get him, Mama. Oh, it ain't no problem. I was just sitting here at the house reading my Bible anyways. I wasn't reading no Bible. I was, I was drinking. Oh. Yep, ain't no problem. Well, it looked like y'all went and stopped and got something to eat. Mine must be in the microwave. I could get it. Oh, yeah, we stopped and got a little bite to eat. I asked Lucky. I said, what, what, what would your mama want? Tell her what you told me. What? Nanny said, Lucky, what would your mama want? I'll get her something. And I, I, I said, I said, my mama don't like fast food because she always tell me. Lucky, no. We got food at the house. There ain't no sense of standing there looking dumb. Hell, go downstairs and get you some crackers out the cabinet. What the clock is? Uh... 5.45, traffic gonna be bad, baby. You better go get you some crackers or something. Hello? Ooh, girl, I got to tell you about this dude. Who? Dang, I got a piece. Oh, bad. Oh, well, just call me back. <laughs> you so funny. Okay, so, I was getting out of my car to go inside to get my food from the restaurant. Next thing you know, I hear, Hey, Slim Dick, come here. And I was, ooh. Dang. Girl, I was on that pee all day. I can tell. But anyways, I looked and I was like, let me walk over here and see. You're not trying to be cute. It, it, ooh. Ooh. You sure you don't just call me back? Girl, be for real. So I walked over there and I was like, oh, shit. Girl, he was so fine. And I could tell he got money. And he smelled so good. Um. <laughs> Only thing is, girl, he was driving a 97 Honda. But he said it wasn't his. He said it was his friend's. You think he lying? Best friend, I um. What's wrong with you? You doing a lot right now, best friend, and I... Oh, that's that Panda Express. Hey, good baby. What you doing? Oh, you must have hit the button. Let me see. Hey, where your mom at? I need to talk to her for a minute. Can you hear me? Hey, I'm hey, stop calling. I'm watching the YouTube. And you can finish watching the YouTube. You don't tell me what to do. I called your mama phone, not yours. You little shit ass. Now go handle the phone. If I come over there and paint your back door red. No. Oh. Uh, you little 
motherfucker. Ma, I'm on my way to LAX to pick up my friend's aunt. Uh, she needed a place to stay, so I offered our, our house for a week. Oh, and you got to send me a voice message because I'm driving. My thing is, what bills do you pay to be offered somebody a place to stay? Absolutely not. I don't know these people. She can go stay with her niece or, 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 or I don't know, but she ain't coming here. Ma'am, I don't be like that. It's the season of giving. I, she just need a place to stay for a week. I figure we can be a helping hand, catch a blessing or something. I know you don't know her, but th this her. This, this is a picture of her. Seasons of giving my ass. This bitch bite. I don't even know her. I don't care who her niece is. I, this is not my problem. I'll skip out on this blessing. If you bring her to my house, Lucky, both of y'all would be homeless. I'm telling you right now, get away from that damn airport. Man, Ma, she in the car with me. Oh, my God. Listen, when you get off work, I'll just let you meet her. See what you think. What is the hell up? Let's see what my best friend is doing. A bitch could never. Period. <laughs> Why back ass bitch? See, best friend, I tried to tell you to be rational. You talking about hitting these people. You got walkie talkies and, and binoculars. He said that his phone died on the way to the airport. Wait, where you going? Girl, I'm about to go eat with my man. You don't want me to like hit the corner or something so we don't seem like we right in front of his house? I don't care nothing about that. Uh, Listen, I will text and call you later. Love you, girl. Bye. Okay, up next is Olivia, Ava, and Lord. Let's go! Miss Johnson, he's sleeping. He's just like Lucas. Ava, wake him up. Do you want me to punch him? What? No, tap his shoulder. Dude, leave him alone. Ava, I said tap his shoulder, not drag his whole body. And Lord, I understand you were homeschooled almost your whole life, but you need to get up and present and take them AirPods out. Oh my, can I do it later? Where can Koala and her group go? My name is Kayla, not Koala, you dumb bitch. No, stand up. Bruh. Should we start? Can y'all hurry up? <laughs> do you talk? Oh my bad, so this is my group's presentation and so we didn't do half of it. <laughs> yeah, and this one is <laughs> Lord, this is your slide, go. What are y'all doing? I don't have all day. What does that word say? <laughs> it's like like <laughs> I don't understand what they're saying. I forgot to put the whole Ava stuff. <laughs> y'all have three weeks and you have nothing. Go sit down, y'all are getting a zero. How about that? Mm -mm. Just fix your face, because I told you last night when you got home from school today, we could check your candy. I know, but Ma, you have to try everything. Yes, because what if something is poisoned? Ooh, a sugar daddy. I wish it was the real one, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Who gave you oodles and noodles? I mean, at least it's the chicken one. You don't mind if I have this. I could take it to lunch. Well, I don't care. Lucky. Why did you let somebody put this in your damn pillowcase? The chicken bouillon! Now, times must be really hard for people to just be giving out their pantry. I bet it wasn't nobody but Miss Kirk's old ass. That's what Grandma said about you. What? Her said times must be hard because your mama opened up the door and just pray for trick-or-treaters. And, and baby, at my house, I'm handing out keys and candy boards. That's what her said. Yeah, well, your grandma is one... Hating old ass woman, she need prayer her damn self. Uh oh, lucky! Don't you send that to your grandma? Go slow, go slow. I'm trying to. Don't bend your knee. <sighs> Babe, it's okay. It's perfectly natural. That was you. Okay, I just said it's perfectly natural. You act like you ain't never heard a little air poo. Do you want my help or what? Ugly soul. Mom's number now. So. Everyone, please continue to work on your projects, please. It's ringing. Hello. Hi, is this Kale's mom? Yes, it is. Hi, I'm so sorry to bother you. This is her teacher, Miss Murphy. Um, today is just not Kale's day. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's. Constant talking out of her seat and, and the name calling. 
So I, I kept reminding her that, you know, we could always call mom. Mm -hmm. That's always an option to call mom. So here we are. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm in a meeting right now. But if you can let her know when she gets home, that ass is grass. Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, that's great. What are you doing? I'm looking for my homework in my backpack. I know I did it. Okay. Hello? Yes, I'll, I, I'll, I'll definitely let her know. Um, hey, I just wanted to say your voice sounds very really raspy since the last time we spoke. And I have found a teaspoon of... Hello? Have a seat. Ugly okay, so. Ooh. Best friend. Ooh, tacos. Yo, 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 what you doing? Babe, you have two big tacos. I can't have one. You don't remember me saying, babe, I'm going to order some tacos. You want anything? What did you say? No, I'm not that hungry. And I said, are you sure? What did you say? Boy, I said no. You don't remember saying that? Because I heard you when you said it. Yeah, so go on there and make some cereal, some leftovers, or, or, or a sandwich, because you're not getting a taco. <laughs> Hello, Annie. I'm the little yellow rascal. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ma, I'm on my way to LAX to pick up my friend's aunt. Uh, she needed a place to stay, so I offered our, our house for a week. Oh, and you got to send me a voice message because I'm driving. My thing is, what bills do you pay to be offered somebody a place to stay? Absolutely not. I don't know these people. She can go stay with her niece or, 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 or I don't know, but she ain't coming here. Man, I don't be like that. It's the season of giving. I, she just need a place to stay for a week. I figure we can be a helping hand, catch a blessing or something. I know you don't know her, but th this her. This, this is a picture of her. Seasons of giving my ass. This bitch bite. I don't even know her. I don't care who her niece is. I, this is not my problem. I'll skip out on this blessing. If you bring her to my house, Lucky, both of y'all would be homeless. I'm telling you right now, get away from that damn airport. Man, Ma, she in the car with me. Oh, my God. Listen, when you get off work, I'll just let you meet her. See what you think. What the hell up? Ma, I'm on my way to LAX to pick up my friend's aunt. Uh, she needed a place to stay, so I offered our, our house for a week. Oh, and you got to send me a voice message because I'm driving. My thing is, what bills do you pay to be offered somebody a place to stay? Absolutely not. I don't know these people. She can go stay with her niece or, 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 or I don't know, but she ain't coming here. Man, Ma, don't be like that. It's the season of giving. I, she just need a place to stay for a week. I figure we can be a helping hand, catch a blessing or something. I know you don't know her, but th this her. This, this is a picture of her. Seasons of giving my ass. This bitch bite. I don't even know her. I don't care who her niece is. I, this is not my problem. I'll skip out on this blessing. If you bring her to my house, Lucky, both of y'all would be homeless. I'm telling you right now, get away from that damn airport. Man, Ma, she in the car with me. Oh, my God. Listen, when you get off work, I'll just let you meet her. See what you think. What the hell up? Damn. I don't care where she at. It I know one thing. You better drop her off at a hotel, a motel, or a Holiday Inn. Now, I am at work. If I come home and she's in my house, I am kicking ass and taking names. No oh, shit. Leave me alone. Oh, best friend, I won't be at school tomorrow. No! Guys, what's going on? If you must know, he works at a law firm. Okay, well, since you know everything, what's his favorite color? Lucky, get the hell away from the door. Shit! I'm not calling him dad. Nobody's asking you to. Go in the house, Lucky. Well, when can I meet him? Not for a while. I don't want to bring nobody around you until I, I know. Know what? That there's potential. Oh, like this plant? Don't do Pauletta like that. She just needs some TLC. Ma, just cancel. Go in the house. And I'm going to call Grandma. Call her. I'm grown. What's she going to do? <phone rings> Lucky. Mm. Hello. Grandma. What, 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 baby? Grandma, my mama stayed out all night, and I don't know where she at. And, and she met some dude online that just got out of prison, and, and I'm I'm scared. Boy, baby, I am on my way. Best friend, how much longer are you gonna be like this? 
Heffa, I don't know. Girl. But what I do know is, I want to be loved, best friend. Okay, but best friend, I love you. No, that that bullshit. Oh. I'm talking about love where I wake up in the morning and I roll over and I hear, Good morning, beautiful. Or the type of love where I get flowers just because it's Wednesday. <clears throat> Somebody that will press charges on me because I stole $10,000 from their cash app. Well, they should have had a passcode on their cash app. That's an amateur move. It really is. But somebody that'll make their mama sit in the back seat like that I'm crying. <laughs> you got too much to ask. Best friend, you'll be okay. Don't give up. You heard that? That's the food. Let's go eat.